but not on this one. Now, what about all the uh, the right wing New York Jews who moved to Florida? How's Florida now politically? I don't know because really I'm still not American. I'm only green card, so I don't. I just know one thing that I see the vote for certain people that I don't think that they are support of Israel, and I believe that personally, many presidents than before was good to Israel because they need the money of the Jews. But the minute that the, man, the people, the Jews, give money and they don't care about Israel, that's what happens. So you get a president that will be not that nice to Israel. See, America doesn't have to worry that much. Obama doesn't have to worry that much if, if Iran gets bombed. You know, because the because Jews doing for him the job. Because we're 6,000 miles away. I guarantee you, if Mexico were building a nuclear facility, and, and we found out about it, you would turn Mexico City into a parking lot. I don't know if you saw the news that the American now, Matrifim, I call it Matrifim, uh, taking out information about Israel in, uh, in about about Israel. Why? Especially so Israeli okay. not to be able to do what they have to do because they have now a, a air force place. Yes, right, an air base. Air base in uh, Abidjan, Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan, one of the, the Janis. And here you are. That's how they're doing. And that's called friends. You can imagine, it's in a way, I feel it's like. What they say about Poland, yeah? Here you are, another person. Poland sitting there for so many years. All the guys that, the, the proof that none of the agents that they said that because of Poland got killed, it was not true. And all these guys that because of them, they got killed. They're already out. Listen. And only Poland is. Only, look, the answer is, if you like it or not, we don't understand everything. And the, the Pasuk said, Lev Melachim Vesarim Biyad Hashem. The heart of kings and ministers is, and officers, is in the hand of God. So the only thing I say, God has his, his own. What about the voters in, October, in November? Do the, the voters have any I uh, hope, influence? I hope a lot of liberal Jews have wisened up. All these liberal Jews that voted for Obama and felt he was a friend, he was a friend of the Jews, a friend of Israel. You had to be really, real. I mean, all you had to do was see who this man's friends were for the past 20 years. He was a friend of Bill Ayers. He sat in the church of Jeremiah Wright, 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 whatever his name is. This guy was a flaming anti-Semite. Obama sat in his church for 20 years. Let me ask you something. You go to a shul and you don't like what the rabbi says. Do you stick around for 20 years if he's the rabbi of the shul? Do you not contest what this man has said? Do you just say yes, yes? How could you even think? You think Obama has an agenda to destroy the Zionist state? I don't think so. I don't think, I wouldn't go that but for far. Sure, but I, for sure not to help them. Yeah, he's, he's not out to help them. He does not have Israel's interests. I, he's got no. his own agenda as far as America, a socialist agenda that's not, that's not good for us. If Israel is not going to disturb him, he will let Israel to exist and to do anything they want. The minute that they are not doing what he wants, that's where, because he has his own agenda. He. I, I was amazed that APAC gave him such a warm reception. This is a man who has not been friendly to Israel. He's treated Netanyahu like like an, a, a stepbrother that shows up to ask for money in the back door. There's no di and the way he spoke about Netanyahu to Sarkozy that Mike picked up. He said, you, "I have to deal with him every day." This is how you talk about a head of state who's supposed to be an ally. How many more warnings, you know? Can can what advice do, do American Jews need before they see that he is not a friend of Israel? Can Jews afford four more years of Obama? God, no. I don't think America can. Jews notwithstanding, I don't think we can afford four more years of Obama. As America. It's been a disaster. He should go, hopefully, with God's help, going, uh, he'll go the way of Jimmy Carter. He'll be our next one-term president. They can go off and be in an old age home with Shimon Peres somewhere. 